Well, uh, hello everybody. I want to talk to y'all about something about my vision. I think, you know, maybe this will hit it home to you. I don't really know. Uh, let me add folks on. Uh, let me add people on. Uh, let me do that real quick, guys, so y'all can see this chart. There's a chart here. You know, talk about something different and interesting, but I think people need to know about my vision that I don't make up stuff or I just don't, you know. Um, when you go to doctors and people and, you know, they've been around forever and ever, been around for a long time, we'll say that. Uh, you know, Fort Worth, Brenda, you know, one of the best in this area and um, they know what they're doing, what they're talking about. And so they essentially have told me that... You know, your vision or my vision. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to add y'all. Cannot be fixed. So you see the vision chart right here? I need people to see this because that's why I look online for stuff that can show the complexity of the eye. And then I can explain on top of that what is going on with my vision to the best of my ability. Um, I have something called astigmatism, estropia, astigmatism, estropia. That's what I have with my vision, which means that the nerves in my eye, they shake in the back. You have that nerve in the very, very back, back there that goes straight back. That nerve shakes. And then where light enters in, that part shakes. There's nothing that can be done to fix my vision. Even if I was a multimillionaire, I have excellent insurance. And I can go to the best doctors in the country, but they don't have the technology to rebuild a human eye. I'm going to repeat that again. They would literally have to rebuild my entire eye. They would have to take out my eye and rebuild it like a car. And they just can't do that. The technology in this country is just not good enough. Um... And I try to get people to understand that my vision is not something that is like a car that I can just go fix easily somewhere. It's not like that. Vision is very complex. And what I try to get people to understand is that when it comes to your vision or even medical or whatever, you can't cut corners. And I don't. I'm glad to go to DFW Retina. I'm glad to have and know a doctor like that that can tell me the complexities of my eye and why it is the way it is. And I don't know. You know, you're when you're born like that, there's not much you can do to fix a problem like that. And when your vision shakes, it's kind of hard to read a book. Um, it's kind of hard to do some things that most may take for granted. You know, and fixing vision again is not that easy when you have an eye condition called astigmatism estropia that you were born with. Is that anybody's fault? No. Is it? Because I'm not trying hard enough? No. Is it because I'm not working out hard enough? No. When you have an eye condition, like what I have, I want y'all to see this. See you right there. I'm waving at you. See this picture up here. When you see this picture, it is very complex and you have muscles on either side of the eye also. Top and the bottom. Those muscles also shake. Because they act to balance the nerves and all those other things and to balance the eye even in your face. And it's like a telescope that shakes. Like looking through a telescope or a, you know, a range finder or whatever, binoculars, whatever. Just imagine those shaking. That's sometimes what I deal with. That's why I wear sunglasses and crap like that. I don't wear glasses just for a style. I wear glasses so I can see and defend myself and be able to do things that I need to do in my life. 
But one thing I did not ask for in this life is a vision problem. And I know that it's very complex. And I know that you have people that either do not understand. You have people that may not know or understand about vision issues. Um, and for me, I just feel like, you know, it's time to explain to the public, you know, it's not something that I wanted. I didn't wake up in this life and ask nor want a vision issue. But I've done everything I can in this life to try to get my so-called vision issue fixed. Not even so-called, it is a vision problem that I was born with. And so I've done everything in this life to try to fix it. Because I'm realizing now more than ever that that is the reason why I don't have the things that I have. It's not about having a mental outlook or none of that. It is, I cannot make people give me a job. I cannot make people hire me. I cannot do any of those things. All I can do is come to God and ask God, why is it that my vision cannot be fixed? And what purpose does having bad vision serve when you can't get opportunities in this life? I'll repeat that again. When you have bad vision and things like that, and it keeps you from making money or other opportunities also in this life, it's also difficult. It's hard. When you have the complexity and vision issues like I do. Glasses have technology in them more now than ever, and I'm thankful for that. But vision issues are very complex, and it's not something that I take lightly. If you don't have a vision issue, then why don't you have a job? You know, some people have mental issues. We get that. But if you don't have a disability, then why is it you don't got a job? Because you can land jobs that I'll never be able to land. Those are things that I think about. You know, I have a vision issue. It's very complex. And they just don't have the technology to rebuild my eye. You know, this isn't Bionic Man or some movie. I come to God every day. Every day. Every day, I come to God and I ask God a lot of things. I ask God a lot of things because I don't know. I don't know why my vision is the way it is except for what is explained to me and what I'm born with. I know that in this life, I certainly try. It's not that I sit around here and I'm lazy or nothing. You can tell by my body I ain't lazy. I'm not lazy. But when your vision holds you back from certain things, it doesn't mean that I'm not trying. It doesn't mean that I am not trying. I am trying. And all I want Someday is opportunities. Opportunities to prosper. It's crazy. My vision is very complex. And when you have astigmatism and other things, and with your vision, it's a uh, it's a complex situation, and you can only thing you can do is say, okay, what is it that I can do? And I'm trying to find the things that I can do in my life if I'm giving the op- if I'm given, excuse me, the opportunity to do them. I want the opportunity to have a job or have a job worth going to, you know, with good benefits. But 
You can't, I can't make people hire me. So when you have astigmatism, estropia, or vision issues like I do that can't be fixed, then what is it that you do to try to make your life better? And I try each day. I get up every day praying to God that he fixes my vision because it it is the reason that a lot of times in my life I'm denied things because jobs aren't going to pay $5,000 for an aura cam. They're not going to pay for machines. They're not going to do that. I can't make people do things that they don't want to do. I can't make people hire me. But the only thing I can do, I see you waving it. The only thing I can do is explain and talk to y'all about my vision. And why fixing your eye is not like fixing a car or fixing whatever your shoulder is not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing, not at all. And I come to God because... I don't know what else to do but explain to y'all and tell y'all that, yes, I deal with astigmatism. I deal with estropia. I deal with an eye condition. Deal with an eye condition that has not allowed me in this life to make something of myself except for to be used for a pity story or others know how to profit off of me but I can't profit off of myself or my story or write books I know that God didn't put me on this earth to serve people and get nothing for serving them but when you have complex vision issues it's like people can just use your story to to profit and do whatever they want. See, I come to God upon closing. I ask Heavenly Father that there is some way that my vision can be fixed because how do you explain to people that don't have any disabilities and why they don't have a job or whatever? Don't feel bad for them. I pray, oh God, that someday my vision can be healed. But as I know that the technology is just not here, all I want, oh God, is an opportunity to have my own someday. But when you have a vision problem, you can't make people give you opportunities or work. I hope that at the age of 34 that my rest of my life is not going to be spent on government programs while others make millions off of me. I'll repeat that again. I hope, oh God, that my life is not a waste. Because at this time, a lot of times I feel like I'm wasting my life away only to achieve nothing. And I know, oh God, you didn't put me on this earth only to achieve nothing. I know that there's got to be something better out there for me and companies and people willing to hire me and help me. So, I try and do everything that I can. And when you do everything you can in this life to do the right thing, and even then, that does not give you money, hope, or wealth or really anything, and your efforts are not being rewarded, you start to wonder how things are going to happen or turn out in your life, oh God, because I do every day. I ask that you bring people in my life that want to help me, not just use me. I ask God that you bring people into my life that can fix my vision, and I'm grateful to DFW Retina and other places for helping me to explain my vision. I hope and pray, oh God, that someday that I'm able to have my own and stand on my own two feet. 
and knowing that vision is complex and not easy to fix and knowing that in this life it takes patience because I don't know when. I don't know when things will turn around for me. I don't know when I will no longer be a slave where I'm used to make millions for other people and I don't get nothing for it and I'm told to be grateful. How can you be grateful when you don't have anything to show for the efforts that you put forth on this earth? I'll repeat that again. How can I be grateful when I don't have anything financially or otherwise to show for the efforts that I put forth on this earth while dealing with vision issues? And my story is just being used for others to profit off of me, oh God, and I don't want that life anymore. Help me to find a company, oh God, that will give me opportunities and a company that will pay me for my work so that I have a net worth someday. I know, oh God, and the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and I know you can do all of these things. Because I come to you in knowing that I want better and desire better and hope in my life. And knowing that God is the only way that I can have hope in this life because I've given up on people who have promised me things and promised me this and where are they now? I wake up in my life and feeling the way that I do because everything that I've tried to do on my own has not worked. And I know that the only hope is to lean on you, God, because there is nothing else. There is nobody in my life, really, except for, you know, my boyfriend. I'm grateful. But it's embarrassing just to depend on somebody or something to take care of you. I pray, God, someday that I have my own and want my own, oh, God. I pray someday that you fix my vision to where I can see like everybody else so I can have opportunities to someday have a job that I want, not a job that I hate. I wake up each day feeling hopeless because of the technology is just not here. And knowing that I'm willing to try whatever I can to fix my vision, including going overseas. I just want things, oh God, to work out in this life. And I hope that they do. And I pray everything under your name. I pray. Amen. I hope all of y'all have a good rest of your day, man. And uh, enjoy yourselves. It's going to be a, uh, a hot day. <laughs> About 102 today. It's going to be pretty hot. So hope all of y'all enjoy yourselves. I hope that for me that, you know, my vision turns around. I hope that people kind of understand what I'm saying. You know, I have an eye condition and it can't be fixed and it's very complex and it's difficult to explain, but it can't be fixed. And I don't really know what people want me to do. I don't know. I don't know what the future has in store for me, but I hope to God that it's not on government programs for the rest of my life while watching others profit off of me. I'll repeat that again. I hope. That it is not me being on government programs for the rest of my life while others profit off of me. That I do not want. What I want is hope and the ability to make my money and make my paper. That's what I want. Because I'm articulate and things like that. I'm not stupid. I'm not retarded. I understand rules and regulations. I understand. I want a job. I want a chance. God bless y'all.